<laughs> All right, yo, what's good, everyone? Nick Smith is back. Welcome to a new episode of the Indiana Pacers My Gym series. Now, I'm sorry I didn't upload yesterday. Even if you can hear it in my voice today, I'm still a little bit sick. I was sick yesterday. I didn't even go to school. I couldn't even make videos for you guys, which kind of sucked. But the day before that, I commentated on a video, and I was saying, like, I feel a little bit sick, and then obviously the next day I got sick, which kind of sucks. But anyway, right now, um, after a huge free agency that we had in this series, we uh, we acquired it, we acquired some talent. We acquired DeMar DeRozan. We got Eric Bledsoe in a draft, in a trade for uh, Derek Rose, which also got us Czech Diallo, who he, this guy, he's been balling for us. He averages 7.5 points, 6.5 rebounds, 1.5 blocks per game in only 22 minutes. He He's a great player, even if the stats don't show it. When I play with him, I, I like to play with him because he's really good. Um, and then we also got Hassan Whiteside in free agency as well. But it's not translating in the win-loss ratio. We have 89% chemistry, which shouldn't be... Like, we shouldn't be losing with 89% chemistry. I guess we do have um, Hassan Whiteside and Miles Turner injured. And Miles Turner's out for 8 to 10 weeks. So we need to, we need to replace him in the lineup with Czech Diallo, um, which I don't mind doing because Czech is a beast. But I think trades need to be made... Um, I'm going to keep that nickname for Miles Turner, Pineapple Head, because his hair, look, I, I'll prove it, his hair looks like a goddamn pineapple. Like, when I when I eat a pineapple, I think of Miles Turner. Look at this, man. He he has a pineapple on his head. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, let's simulate up here, right now. You know, should we sim with the sim cars? Nah, we'll just simulate through date. See how many wins we can take. Um, Hassan Whiteside should be back soon. Hopefully he's back right now. I'm guessing he will be. And nope, he's not. All right, cool, cool, cool. Um, scouting report. We don't even have that good of a pick. All I really want is Thumb Maker out of Arizona State. But really, he's from Australia. Um, he's from Sudan, I think. He's from Sudan, and then he went to Australia. He was brought up in Australia, I think. And I think he went to... Uh, he went to Canada or something. I don't know, but all I know is he's Australian, okay? Um, we got Ben Simmons in 2016, Thumbmaker of the Year after. I got that in my head because as an Australian, you got to know those things. Um, he wants to extend his contract? We will see what he wants because George Hill, I mean, he's an Indiana Pacer guy. He's not a bad backup point guard, to be honest. Um, but... I'm not going to promise you an extension. I want to negotiate an extension. I'm going to pump you up by 15. I mean, I thought they were going to negotiate one right here. Um, how do we negotiate an extension then? Can we even, can we even like, negotiate one? Um, how? What it, what, oh, right, yeah, I'm, I'm an idiot. My bad. And if I sound a little bit sick, I already told you why, so, yeah. Um, scouting, coaching, team, office. Contract extensions. George Hill will resign. All right. He's uh, not averaging the best, but he is a backup point guard. So we'll see what he wants. Hopefully, it's not a lot. Because um, at the moment, he wants 8 million. He averages, I think his contract's 8 mil for one year. So he wants two year 8.46, which isn't bad. Um. And why? Okay, edit an offer. Um, how about 7 mil? So that's 3.5 for two years. Uh, 3.5 a year. 7.8. We'll offer 7.24. I think he should... Yeah, okay. That's that's pretty good. 7.24 for two years. I will take that. Um, that's not bad. That's a little bit less than $4 million per year. So that, I'll, that's a pretty good, um, pretty good contract for a backup point guard. Um... Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely take that. 3.5 and then 3.7 for a backup point guard. Um, plus, he's he's got a 91 shot three. But I'm waiting for some white... We haven't even simulated a goddamn game yet, so let's let's keep simulating. Do we beat the Cavs? We actually beat the Cavs. You know, if, if we start to win games, trades might not happen, all right? Trades might not happen. But we did lose to the New Orleans Pelicans, if you guys watched that video. And Hassan's back, which is awesome. 
But you know, I never lose to teams in 2K. Honestly, like I don't, I don't, I don't want to brag or anything. Like I don't think it's even bragging saying that you beat teams in 2K because it's not really anything you brag about. But I'm just saying, like I don't lose too many games in 2K. Um, even on Hall of Fame, I always play on Hall of Fame. Um, I never lose games on 2K, but we got two L's in a row. One to the Cavs, which, you know, that's understandable. The Cleveland Cavaliers is one of the best teams in the NBA, but one to the Pelicans? I mean, these guys lost to the Lakers in real life the other day. So, yeah. Um, and this is what I keep... CJ Miles isn't happy, which is annoying, because he has that 91 shot three. But I guess we don't necessarily need him on this team. I used to love him because of the three-point shot that he has. But he just complains, and he brings down the team chemistry, which is annoying because I don't want I don't want him to bring down you know team chemistry. That's that's just gonna make us lose more games. So to be honest, I don't even know many of these guys. Um, I know more of the 2016 draft class. So after a while, I might actually just get them to automatically sim simulate through the scouting report. Is what I'm trying to say. How long is this going for? It's going for about eight minutes, I think, but. Alright, CJ Miles, yeah. CJ Miles might be a guy I look to trade, alright? He, I just like, I kind of like CJ Miles, but it's not worth him complaining, especially with the team that we have. Um, but we, we're winning games now, which is awesome. We're 23-10, and 10, which is a lot better than we were, um, you know, a few, a few, like, we've been on a winning streak. And it's just going to save, it's not, it's not going to let me do anything. But, you know, I'm, I'm trying to improve the quality of my videos. And I know I say this a bit, but I really am. And I really hope you guys are enjoying the videos and all, all the series. Like, if you do, and if you do enjoy them, um, I'm pretty sure I was going to say if you are and if you do enjoy them. But anyway, leave a like on the video. That's what I'm trying to say, all right? Please, if you guys want to see the next episode, it'd be awesome if you guys could smash that like button for the next episode. It really, as a YouTuber, every, every YouTuber wants likes. And the reason is... Um, it shares the videos around. It doesn't get the, the YouTuber more money. It doesn't get them more views. Well, technically it does, but it doesn't necessarily get them more views when you leave a like or more money or whatever. It just shares the videos around so that more people can come watch the video and subscribe to the channel, hopefully, because that's the main goal for YouTubers. They kind of want more subs and more views. I mean, that's, that's why they do it, right? And because, you know, we love editing, making videos and all that good stuff. But anyway... We, we, we keep winning a few games, like, we're doing okay, um, but I want to see if Dwight Howard and his team is healthy. Um, Isaiah, Dwight, Bradley, yeah, th these guys are healthy, they don't have Brandon Ingram, but then again, we don't have Pineapple Head. That's what I'm going to call him from now on, I'm sorry, if you guys don't like the name, then you're going to have to deal with it. I'm, it's Pineapple Head, okay? But anyway, we know that, um, that, what's his name? Wait, why... Hold up, where is he? CJ Miles, right here. He's frustrated because he's not getting many minutes, which I'd rather trade him than make the team chemistry go down, even though it's under 90. We'll just see what he's worth. Um, and hopefully we can get some rookie or something. If we can get a rookie for Miles Turner, not Miles Turner, what I'm talking about. CJ Miles, it's Miles Miles, all right? I'm going to get confused. CJ Miles, Miles Turner, even though I call him Pineapple Air, whatever. If we can get a rookie for CJ Miles or a second year player, that'd be awesome. Because then the contract is low, but, I mean, we gotta, we got to see what happens. I don't want a huge contract on this team, especially because we have Hassan, pretty big contract. Damar, pretty big contract. Bledsoe, pretty big contract. Paul George, pretty big contract. We've got, we got guys that are getting paid. This guy! Why is he Why did they pay him so much money? How much do we pay... How much do we pay our rookie? Hold up, I just want to see something. How much do we pay Check Diallo? What the hell are they doing? Miles Turner? Yo, what are you doing, Chicago? Alright, JJ Redick. I mean, we can replace a shooter for a shooter, but contract's pretty heavy, I'm good. Sabo Cephalosha, Amari Stoudemire, Jeremy Lamb. Not bad, but... And we get PJ Harrison. Trey Burke, Darren Collison, Andre Blatch, Lou Williams. Also on a decent contract. Boozer, yes! Let's get Boozer, he's a beast, man. That is young and Dion Waiters, but we just re-signed George Hill. I kind of want to keep him. Malik Newman and Gary Harris. One's a second-year player, 
87 shot three. That can replace Miles Turner. And Malik Newman, he's a great backup point guard who shouldn't have been picked seven. I know Malik Newman. He's actually pretty good. He shouldn't have been picked 17th in this draft. I reckon he could have gone a little bit higher, but his rating's only at a 72. Um, but we'll just see what else. Stanley Johnson? That might be the move, people. That might be the move. Stanley Johnson. Why is he only at a 74 overall? I don't know. Him and Justice Winslow, because I'm a Heat fan, so I love Justice Winslow. Him and Justice Winslow are very similar. Great defensive players, ready or like they're all ready for the NBA. Big body type players. Um, obviously, he has to work on the shooting ability, but his defense is nice for a rookie. He's a two and a half star, same as CJ Miles. If I can just, what if we got Drummond for Hassan? Like, what if we did that? Actually, look at that contract right there by by Dreyas. That's pretty big. Hassan's not worth that much, so yeah, I, I like I like Hassan as well. I don't know why I do that, but Reggie Jackson. He's a I, I watched him the other day um, up against the New York Knicks. He was pretty clutch, but he's worth a lot of money, 14 million or almost 15 for like. I mean, he might be worth it one day, but at this, you know, he actually might be worth it. To be honest, the, the, the Pistons have a pretty good uh, one-two punch with Jackson and Drummond. But anyway, I want to see if we can just get this trade to go through. We lose a little bit of you know salary. We gain a young player that we can develop. And we lose a player that's just going to complain. Whereas I think Stanley Johnson might want to... He, he won't mind at a backup, hopefully. And he can play the two. He's only 6'6". So, they're both 6'6". Six, six. So, Stanley Jones can play the two. Um, he wants... I, I might just get... I might just trade away the second round pick. Unless, actually, we can offer a first round pick. What about this? Danny Granger is all they ask? I I, I kind of like Danny Granger, though. Because he's, he's an old Indiana Pacer guy. I like Danny Granger. Um... Wait, is this the... Oh, this is the big-ass guy. But I don't... We need a backup center as well, actually. We do need a backup center, right? Because we got Hassan and Jermaine O'Neal. Jermaine O'Neal, like, he's decent, but he's not anything crazy. Um, What about I give you Joseph Young just because I don't need another point guard. We have Eric Bledsoe. George Hill, who's a backup. And that's all I really need. Eric Bledsoe and George Hill. And I do need a backup center as well. I'll even... I don't want to give you... I kind of want to keep my Indiana Pacer guys. Uh, what about I give you a first round and you give me two second round picks. They really want Danny Granger. I'm going to take this offer, alright? I'm going to take this offer. We get a, we get a lot of first round picks. We get one, two, no, yeah, one, two, two first round picks, and we give up CJ Miles and Danny Granger, which we get Stanley Johnson, who I think I like Stanley Johnson as a player, and it's going to ruin the team chemistry a tiny bit, but we'll, we'll find a way to be back ready um, to play the Celtics, to be honest, and I'm happy getting Stanley Johnson, honestly, like... That's a great pickup, to be honest. Stanley Johnson. Right, now let's simulate to the Boston Celtics game. Hopefully, um, hopefully team chemistry goes up to at least an 80 by the time we play the Celtics. I know Paul George is upset. He's always... Two losses in a row. Two wins in a row. Let's beat the Cavs. Okay, going into another cutscene. Another one. Now, how long is this video going for? It's going on for ooh, almost like 20 minutes, so... We've got to end this. And it's quick. And I'm, I'm going to let the scout handle this from now on. Because I don't need to get into this, really. I mean, I don't know much of the players anyway. I can just go by how he, how he scouts and just look up, you know, in real life. Like, just on a website. How good this 2017 draft is. So, yeah. We beat the Cavs. And do we beat the Clippers as well? That'd be pretty good. We get two really, really good wins. And then we face up against the Celtics. We do... Alright, so now, in the next episode, we're going to face up against the Celtics. 
And we're going to see if we can actually win a game. If we cannot beat the Celtics, a trade is happening. Okay? A trade is happening. Because it's just annoying. We can't win games right now. It's, it's annoying. But I reckon, I reckon since the trade to get Stanley Johnson... The team is now settled, and we should win again. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button. Subscribe if you are new. I'm out. Peace.